Hey everyone, this is the Untwisted Voice. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video. If you can take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. And again, thanks for stopping by. What I want to talk about today in this video is really, really important. And that are, what are some signs that you are on your way to experiencing alcoholism in your future? What are some of the signs that are happening maybe around you right now, or maybe will happen in the future that you are not aware of that are saying to you that yes, you have a drinking problem. And that's what I'm gonna do in this video. You know, there was a long time I went drinking that I wasn't aware I was an alcoholic. I just thought I was an asshole with a lot of problems in my life. I thought that's just the way it was. I was destined to fail in my life. I never ever thought drinking was an issue. So the first one I wanna talk about is drinking to control your emotions. Do you use alcohol to control your emotions? I know I did. I did it all the time. If I got angry, I was afraid of my anger, I would drink. If I was anxious going into a room, I would drink to calm my nerves. If I was afraid, I would drink to calm my nerves. If I was hurt, I would drink to, to soothe myself with the alcohol. I was using alcohol to regulate my emotions. That is very, very a common trait of alcoholics in general. You know, if we withhold our, our emotions, or use medications or drugs or alcohol to control our emotions and we don't vent those emotions or experience those emotions fully, it will create a depression in us or we'll feel a sense of anxiety in us. So are you using alcohol to control your emotions? Okay, another one is, are you losing relationships because of your alcoholism? or your heavy drinking, or just your drinking in general. Are you losing relationships? Is the girlfriend leaving you? Do you find yourself isolating when you're drinking? Do you find yourself, you know, your family talking to you about your drinking? You know, you know, Terry G, you should cool it with your drinking because we don't want you to go to those events. So losing important relationships due to your drinking. Is that happening to you? And sometimes we might just say, I don't give a shit anyways. I didn't like those people anyways. But slowly over time, you'll say, I don't give a shit enough. You'll be sitting there by yourself. And you know, we have to look at that because with myself, when I drank, I got pretty crazy. I really did. I, I liked to fight when I drank and I, I do crazy things. So people didn't really want to hang around me towards the end when my drinking got really out of control. So people sort of left. So. You know, when I was a little kid, I had a big community of friends. And when I started drinking in my teens and through my 20s, my community of friends slowly got small, small, small. And at the end, there's only me and a few drunks sitting around the living room drinking beer. So are you losing valuable relationships because of your drinking? Another one is, are you experiencing blackouts? Wow, blackouts. I used to say to myself, I'm not experiencing blackouts. I was having brownouts. And they're like the foggy little area between a blackout and, and reality. And I used to call them brownouts and I didn't really realize what was going on, but I remember sitting in a laundromat one day and this girl comes up to me and she says, hey Terry, I saw you last night at the bar. And I'm like, what? You saw me last night at the bar? I don't even, I don't even recognize you, who are you? And I said to her, did I do anything wrong or did I do anything weird to you? She goes, no Terry, you're a lot of fun. You, nothing happened and you know, stuff like that. So not remembering events when you drink does that happen to you does that happen to you it was happening to me towards the end my alcoholism was out of control my drinking was out of control and my memory was shutting down i don't know exactly what a blackout is or a brownout what causes it but i was experiencing it i really was are you losing your job do you have work problems due to alcoholism i lost one of my favorite jobs because i slept in i remember my boss put up with me for you know, I was so unreliable because I was drinking and I used to drug too, but mainly the alcohol. I was so unreliable. My boss said to me, Terry, and he liked me a lot. His name was Tony. Him and I were just really great guys together when we worked. He was my boss, but he was like my friend. And I remember he said to me, Terry, if you're late one more time, I can't have you here. You can't work here anymore. And I remember I went out and I drank and I slept in and you know what happened? I lost one of my favorite jobs. So is alcohol causing you problems in your workplace with your relationships, with your boss, are you on time? Or maybe you're just experiencing you're drinking so much you don't have enough money to get to work. So take a look at that. Take a really hard look at that. Have you ever tried to quit? 
That always gets people. Because when people come up to me and they say, I don't think I have a drinking problem. I think my life is okay. Meanwhile, their life is all full of shit and shit's happening all over them. Court charges, debt, the wife's leaving them. And they still look at me and they say, oh, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm doing okay. All It's all those people who have the problem. I simply say to them, okay, Joe, if you don't have a problem with alcohol, quitting shouldn't be an issue. It shouldn't be an issue. So have you ever tried to quit alcohol for long periods of time? You know, a long period of time for me is about a week. We'll say 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. Do that little test to yourself and see how you behave. Do you become irritable and discontent? Do you have a problem with, with, with life in general because you're not having alcohol on a daily basis? Try it. It really, really is an effective way to find out if you are relying on alcohol for any, any reason. It really is. I wasn't able to, to quit alcohol very long because I was always thinking about it. My friends were out there partying. You know, I, I was stressed out. I wasn't having fun. I became a boring person. I became a, a bump on a log if I didn't drink. My whole life evolved around alcohol. So when I quit alcohol, it became pretty, well, pretty boring. It really did. Okay, so there are some of the signs that you might want to watch for in your life that might be saying to you that you are on your way to experience the alcoholism in your future. It really is. It doesn't matter how old you are either. If you can be 15, 13, 17, 20, 50, whatever your age is, alcohol doesn't care how old you are. Addiction in general doesn't care how old you are. So watch for those signs, take a look at it and give yourself an honest appraisal an honest appraisal. If you have any comments about this video, please leave them below. If you have any questions that I can help you with, leave them below and I'll make sure to answer. I really will. Alcoholism is not something to play around with. It took everything away from me. It took my family, my friends, my workplace. It took my money. I, at the end of it, I was pretty well on, on the street, you know, going to food banks. Alcoholism will eliminate everything that you hold precious in your life. It really will. But there's always hope. There really is. I know a lot of great people who've recovered from alcoholism and have great lives. And I'm one of them. Okay? I'm one of them. So hope. There are always tons of hope. I hope this video helped you. And thanks for stopping by. This is the Untwisted Voice of Terry G. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot and one day at a time.